My experience with Reach the World changed my life. That experience is what everything else is measured by. What's this thing with the internet? Could we bring this, you know, to everyday students? And I thought, hey, I don't want to go to graduate school. I really want to hop on board this boat. I had no sailing experience whatsoever. And I went to the training and was like, oh, that's awesome that this boat is going around the world. For students to have the enriched and engaged experience of reaching through a portal as people work as sort of traveling companions around the world. Students just get so excited and they start to envision themselves potentially going abroad. That's probably one of the most powerful aspects that makes this program unique in particular. Then they come up with follow-up questions and then they look forward to the next time we Zoom. And the travelers are very gracious and generous in answering questions. It's the basis for a lot of project-based learning in my classroom and the pathways within their programming allows students to have a voice and a choice in their learning. The focus has always been the educators because without the educators, there is no program, there is no reach the world. Some people I think always think of it, oh, it's a textbook. My teacher just told me a lot of information. Engagement means we're in it together. We're going to engage in a partnership so that when you leave, the learning is yours. It belongs to you. So the educators committed with their own resource, their own time, are the ones that make Reach the World successful. We were doing a unit on street art in my Spanish class, and I had a traveler actually go out and take pictures of the street art and we tied it to social justice curriculum and students were able to explore what the traveler was showing them firsthand. There was an opportunity to dive in literally and look at sea life, uh, coral reefs, the ocean, salinity, that you could do your science. What I thought was great is you could zoom in and you could go out. I decided that the only way I would know what was happening was to go get on the boat. So in the first year, I joined the boat in Sicily. I'm on a sailboat in the middle of the ocean, exploring the world from the sea's edge. Changed my life. I think if she had really like described the bathroom situation on the boat, I probably wouldn't have signed up as quickly as I did. Absolutely remarkable for the adults who participated for them to have the experience of seeing the world through the eyes of children. And I think often the students say, well, you knew that, did you know this about this city or this place? And it's fun for me to say, to show cultural humility as well and say, no, I didn't know that. I think I walked away from the Reach the World experience saying how ignorant I was and how traveling is such an important thing to do. And then the next year, I reached out to Heather and she was in Africa. And I couldn't go because Africa is such a long journey and I only had two weeks. So my son, who had just graduated in June, and I said, you need to go on the boat with Heather. He went and became part of the crew and was in Africa for six weeks. So when I picked him up from the airport after six weeks, he had no luggage. And I said, what? Where's your stuff, Anthony? And he said, I can't talk about that right now and started to cry. He decided, you know, part of his path was to give everything away. Um, and so he, he gave it all away except for the clothes he was wearing and maybe the shoes on his feet. He came back and decided to work for community service for 10 years because of Heather and her boat. At 25 years, and I literally think we don't even know the half of it. That's the funny thing about education. There are children, some of them now are adults, who were touched, moved, who probably are overseas right now, and they were inspired by this program. That's, that's really the legacy of it. I'm changed. Lots of people can get on a sailboat and go around the world, but what Heather taught me is that go there and learn something.
be a community service advocate. Learn about the people and you'll walk away with some experiences that can never be replaced. I would like to thank Reach the World for having such an impact on my students in Nebraska. They might not have realized it at the time, they might not realize it for five years, but now a generation after this started, this program has made a difference in the world. Thank you for letting me be part of this journey and for everything you've done for teachers, students, travelers, and literally the world. And I cannot wait to see what the next 25 years bring. So congratulations, standing ovation, and keep on sailing.